Hi guys, I'm Jolly and Charlie, book fanatic. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking to you about my Booktubaton TBR. If you don't know what the Booktubaton is, the Booktubaton is a week-long readathon, so a week wherein you read books for certain challenges, and I'm going to talk to you about the books I picked out for those challenges. I will link the YouTube channel for the Booktubaton down below. The Booktubaton is going on from July 18th to July 24th, so from Monday to Sunday. And I said Booktubaton a lot of times. So let's dive straight into the challenges. The first challenge is read a book with yellow on the cover. And I have already selected a summer TBR, so I chose my books from that summer TBR as far as that could go. And for this challenge, I chose Amy and Rogers' Epic Detour. This is a book by Morgan Madsen, and it's about a boy and a girl, Amy and Roger, who go on a road trip together. And I really don't know anything more about that, but I've been wanting to read this since I have read Since You've Been Gone by Morgan Madsen. I really liked that one. Since everyone has been raving about Morgan Madsen's books, I thought, why not read another one? So this one has been on my summer TBR, and I'm going to read it during the book Tubaton. Second challenge is read a book only after sunset. And this one is very hard to do in summer because sun is setting at 10 p.m., which is very, very late to read a book. And I picked out a thriller because I thought it's night, you know, sun is going down, it's getting dark. So I picked out my favorite thriller. It was going to be a reread for me, and that is Night Film by Marisha Pessel. And then I realized the sun was setting on 10 p.m., and I was like, maybe a 600 page book is not the best choice for this challenge. But I'm going to try it anyway because I absolutely adore this book and I want to reread it as soon as possible. And that is going to be during the book Tubaton. I think I can fly through this because I have read it already and I just want to enjoy this whole story again. The challenge is read a book you discover through booktube. What books didn't I discover through booktube? I've discovered so many books through booktube, but I chose The Winner's Curse by Marie Witkowski for this one. It's the first book in a trilogy, and I've been wanting to read this trilogy for so long because, again, so many people have been talking about it on booktube and on blogs, and this is a fantasy trilogy, but it's not really fantasy because there are no, not really fantastical elements. It's only set in a fantastical world. But I can't wait to read it because apparently there's a lot of strategizing and military strategizing in it. And I am so excited for a smart protagonist, a smart female protagonist. And I've been wanting to read this for so long, so I will. Chance number four is read a book by one of your favorite authors. And I was lucky I had a book by one of my favorite authors on my summer TBR. And that is Summer Lost by Ellie Condy. Ellie Condy is the author of the Match Trilogy. And you probably know this one as one of the most hated trilogies on blogs and booktube. Every time I see someone talk about this trilogy, they hate it. But I read when I was younger, I think I was 13 or 14. And I loved Twilight back then. And I also love the Met trilogy. And Ellie Connolly became an author I looked fond upon, and I haven't read anything by her since that trilogy. So I wanted to read something else, and Summer Loss has been on my TBR since it has come out this year. But I honestly really want to read this one. It's been on my TBR before, I believe, but I haven't gotten to it yet, and I'm finally going to read it during the book Tubaton. The fifth challenge is read a book that is older than you, and this one was very hard for me because I didn't have a book on my summer TBR that was older than me because I mostly read new releases, but I have some Daniel Steele books, and especially all Daniel Steele books. So I picked The Ranch by Daniel Steele, and obviously it takes place on the ranch, and that's all I know about it. I don't know a lot about Daniel Steele's books. I just read them. I don't really care about the premise. I, I just gobble them up. Price number six was read and watch a book to movie adaptation. Again, a very hard challenge because I don't have any books on my TBR that are book to movie adaptations, but I have Persuasion by Jane Austen. But Persuasion is a buddy read I was going to do with someone, but that person wants to read it mid-July and guess when the book Tubaton takes place? Exactly, mid-July. So I'm going to do a buddy read during a book Tubaton, which is very exciting as well. But I have read one other book by Jane Austen, and that is Emma, and I rated that one four stars. I really, really enjoy it. I never expected to enjoy a classic as much as I did, but 
I want to read something else and I was feeling scared and I didn't want to go for another author so I decided to go for another book by Jane Austen. And the last and seventh challenge is read seven books. So I picked out one last book and that is The Deal by Elle Kennedy. This is the first book in the Off Campus series. It's a new adult series. It's a book you can get through really fast and that is why I picked it. I no, I have a really challenging TBR with a classic, but that classic is 270 pages on average. So that is... I hope I can get through it. I'm going to do my best to read seven books in a week, but I haven't done it before, I believe. So this is going to be very challenging, very hard, but I'm going to try my best. I'm not going to do the video challenges because they will be announced really late and like on the day itself and I can't film every single day for a week, like I can't. So I'm not going to do that, I'm just going to participate in the reading challenges. Let me know down below if you're going to participate in the booktube at home, what books are you going to read? Let me know down below. Thank you for watching, goodbye!